What's up, Wildcats? I'm Grant Langdon with Career Services, giving you a quick tip for the day. What's the most important part of your resume? It is the words following the bullets for each of your experiences. So your bullets are supposed to be like a light that illuminates a dark room. Do you want a, th a small flashlight when you come into a dark room to try to find all the details of a room, or would you just want someone to turn on the lights and illuminate everything so you can see what's all there? So in order to be that light of illumination for your experiences, there's a formula you can use to do that, and that's right here. You performed X by doing Y resulting in Z, and you're gonna quantify across that. And that starting verb that you use should be a skill. It should convey the skill that you're trying to show that you have. So if you've collaborated, you've organized, you've designed, things like that. So this bullet, it should sound like an accomplishment, not just a duty. And that you're going to get into how you did it, why you did it, with whom did you did it, how many people did you do it with. And you're going to use relevant, specific terms to show that you've used those technologies and those best practices. So here's some examples here. So you designed and executed small-scale testing. So that is your performed X right there. Your skill is you designed and you executed. And what it was was the small-scale testing. And why did you do it? You did it to validate control algorithms derived to simulate seismic forest resistance in three test groups in a team of four. So how you did it is the test groups, the team of four. So that's that's a good one right there. Another great example, you completed audits of three academic departments with combined $20 million budgets. Well, you completed audits, that's clearly your the skill that you're conveying right there. How you, What it was exactly was the academic departments and the value of that, that $20 million budget that shows that the responsibility, the impact to the organization, and also the ensuring the align, alignment with the regulations, that's a huge impact that you're having on the organization. So that sounds a lot more like an accomplishment than just a duty. Another example, obtained experience with organic and analytical chemistry lab practices. So this is a little different because you're showing that you have learned and you've used these specific pieces of technology and these skills. So this is directly pulled from the job description where they need someone who can do this. You've got to say that you've, you've done that before. And then for all of you servers out there, you managed a five to seven table section interacting with multiple large parties in order to build return business and regulars. And that's showing that you see the big picture of your work and that's what makes a great employee. So what do you want your bullets to say on your resume? While you're here at NMU, think about that now so that you can look for the experiences that are gonna build that great resume. So when you're applying at the end of your time here, you, your resume is going to be awesome. And a good way to know about those is to connect with somebody who's done it before, somebody who's been in your shoes at NMU, graduated and gotten a job similar to what you're looking to do. So at Career Services, we can help you connect using the Wildcats Connect platform or through an alumni mentor who can spend some more time with you. That's your quick tip for the day.